what is going on, people. I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, uh, I wouldn't call it an unboxing per se because I already unbox this stuff, uh, but it'll be my first of the year Hamilton book um, extravaganza, I guess you want to call it. Whatever. If you haven't heard of Hamilton book before, if you're a collector of movies, probably the cheapest way you can go to get some new stuff, maybe stuff you never heard of before. Um, I've done many unboxings before where I got many movies this time I got I ordered 23 and realized that I already own one I read it wrong I thought it was the third I'll, I'll say it I, I thought I ordered Lost Boys the Thirst but it ended up being Lost Boys the Tribe which I already do have but it was only two bucks so really didn't you know lose out on much uh like I said I got 22 things here um 22 other things should I say and none of them cost me more than eight bucks and those happen to be a, a 4k movie and two seasons well technically uh, one season of the same show well two seasons of the same show it's not two different shows but uh let me pull these over here uh, I was trying to do this video before and it kept messing up and then I was trying, it, it was going to go way too long because I was trying to read everything about them. If any of these movies you want, you know, more explanation about or anything like that, let me know. A lot of these movies I'm going off of, um, what do you want to call it, trailers and stuff like that. Plus, like I said, you can't beat half these prices that are here. Uh, like I said, the most I spent on anything in this whole, um, my whole box I think came to $113 but I got 22 um, movies and like I said um, three of them were eight bucks each so plus that's seven dollars uh, shipping and handling and I ordered it the 13th so it got here in two days so literally it was it was uh, you know kind of crazy how quick I, I didn't expect it to get here so quick so anyway uh, I'll show off what I do have like I said if there's anything that you want uh, reviewed further or want to check out or whatever let me know and I'll definitely do a you know more in-depth review um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button if you like this video and you're interested in more uh, definitely hit that like video and of course hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff so like I said I did have one movie that by mistake I ordered that I didn't I, I read it wrong that was my fault so anyway, let me go into it, and like I said, I'll read off how much each thing is, and uh, yeah, if you're interested in more of a review, let me know. Uh, this one I got for um, the, the cast, Jesse Eisenberg, Dakota Fanning, and Peter Skarsgård in Night Moves. Uh, from the trailer, it looks like they're like environmentalists and stuff um, that uh, are planning to blow up some kind of thing. What is this? The um, Let me see. A hyperponic uh, dam, or hydroelectric dam, should I say? Uh, hyperponic, I don't even know what that word is. Anyway, hydroelectric dam that we're going to, you know, uh, for political reasons and stuff like that. To tell you the truth, not really a hundred percent, not at all to tell you the truth. I'd rather not have politics in anything entertainment-wise, sports, music, movies, and stuff like that. But this one was cheap enough. How much was this one? Night Moves was four bucks. So I'm like, let me check it out. Um, got you know, a really cool cast, like interesting enough plot line. So I'm like, let me check it out. Uh, this is, um, one of the things that cost me the most eight bucks for this one. Michael Fassbender, Ryan Gosling, uh, Rooney Mara and Natalie Portman in song to song. Uh, this seems like it's uh, it says it's like two couples, um, in the, the music industry coming together and then uh, the trials and tribulation that goes with that. Uh, who knows what goes on? You know, at the end it says the rock and roll landscape of seduction and betrayal. So I'm guessing, you know, people are going to, you know, go crazy with this, especially rock and roll and stuff. Um, but song to song, it's had, you know, really cool cast. So I'm like, why not pick it up? Uh, these next couple I got to, um, to kind of bulk up my... Um, Dark Sky collection. I have a few Dark Sky movies, and they had a few of these, which were five bucks each. I'm like, why not? Let me let me pick them up and see, because I never even heard of these. I uh, never even saw them, so I'm like, why not pick it up? Uh, the first one cost me, um, what is this one? Uh, Convergence cost me two bucks. So some of them cost me five. This one cost me two. It stars Clayton Crawford, Ethan Embry, and McKelly Williamson. Uh, 
it's called Convergence. Uh, pretty much from the trailer I got, it's a guy that woke up in a hospital after a bombing. He's, you know, a detective and stuff like that, and he's going after terrorists. He gets, you know, pretty much blown up, but he wakes up and he has nothing wrong with him, and now he's stuck in this. You know, he wants to get back on the case and stuff, but his, his uh, you know, leading officer and stuff like that won't let him do anything. So he's stuck in this, you know, hospital, with which is very, like... Um, secluded and stuff like that and he just he's like what the hell is going on here kind of deal and uh it just seems from the trailer it seems pretty interesting uh the next one is a um this one was five bucks it stars uh maria walsh tony todd danny trejo at that point in time i'm like how could you pass that up and the movie is called vanish uh for five bucks i guess you um, i i know you can't pass that up but it seems like from the trailer, it looks like a girl gets kidnapped by a few, a couple of people. And to tell you the truth, from the trailer, I remember, I don't know if it's the, you know, the, um, the two guys that kidnap her are just like not good at their, what they're doing. But it seems like, you know, she's either nuts and just doesn't care and goes crazy. But it just seems like they, they might have kidnapped the wrong kind of girl. Vanish. Uh, this one I thought was really interesting. I saw the trailer for it, and I'm like, how did I miss this? Because I love movies like this. Uh, it stars Jason Ritter, Jamie King. Um, it's a film by Marinara, Ma Mariana Palka. Yeah, Marinara. Marinara sauce. Mariana Palka. It says, bring a chew toy. Seems, you know, it seems like something I would definitely be into. And the movie's called Bitch. Uh, this is pretty much where uh, a wife, uh, this guy's wife, um, starts acting like a dog. And uh, I didn't see, you know, further than the trailer itself. But it seems like it's like a dark comedy kind of deal. So I don't know if she goes around and starts like killing people and stuff like that. But at one point in time, the kids and the, and the husband, they end up going into the basement and she's just acting like a dog. So this one I'm actually really excited to see, check out, because like I said... Something like this would be one that i be after for sure, and I never heard of it. So uh, I'm like, let me check this out, uh, bitch. Uh, the next one is called Applesauce, another Dark Sky film. Don't remember exactly what this one was about. I remember watching the trailer, and I'm like, definitely got to check it out, but I don't remember like 100% what it is. Um, I'll read this one for you. It says, every Tuesday night... Uh, radio talk show host Steve Brinks invites his listeners to call in and share the worst thing they've ever done. Tonight, Ron Wells, uh, writer and director, director on Core Tuchel, is ready to share his story, but soon after his confessions on air, someone starts sending him uh, severed body parts. Ron becomes paranoid, terrified, uh, his life is, uh, begins to unravel, his marriage begins to fall apart, and he has no idea who's tormenting him. It is his uh, insolent, what is this, insolent high, uh, high school student. Is it his best friend? Is it his own wife? Uh, in the city of New York, there are 8 million suspects, and each one could have a bone to pick with him uh, with someone like Ron. Uh, take a dark comedy, mix it with uh, noir, uh, add a dash of horror, and it's a recipe for one of the most original and unusual movies of the year. So this is another one from 2015 that I never even heard of. Between Bitch and Applesauce, you know, uh, what can I say? Two movies that I've never seen before, uh, but for $5. And watching the trailer, I was, you know, you know, happy to pick it up. This one I've been wanting, not wanting, but remembering for... I, I remember I got the wrong movie. I This is a movie I think I saw a trailer for a while ago. And then I got two movies that weren't that, which I thought it was. But this one's called Mother's Day. Uh, this one's put out by, uh, I don't even know who it's put out by, but I think this one's the one where um, the mother is like very protective of her daughter, or I'm thinking of the one with Daryl Hannah or something. There's one that I remember seeing the trailer for, or this one, I think she has two sons, and she's very protective of them, and goes after people and stuff like that, but Mother's Day, I think that's finally the movie I got, and how much is Mother's Day? Uh, five bucks. So, even if it's not five bucks, I'll check it out. Uh, this one seemed interesting that I've always, you know, seen and never picked up. The movie's called Jerusalem, with a Z. Um, this one sounds like it's a, um, 
I don't want to say like the pyramids and stuff like that. If you ever seen the pyramids, but this one, two tourists meet up with this uh, archaeologist guy because they think he's cute. They end up going into the uh, desert of uh, Jerusalem and stuff like that, and they end up getting all these this wrath and stuff upon them and all this stuff. It seems pretty interesting, Jerusalem. Uh, this one has a few people in it that I, I, you know, really enjoy. Emil Hirsch, Stefan Dorf, Dakota Fanning, and Chris, Christoph, uh, Christopherson. Don't remember exactly what, who, who he, I can't put a face to a name, but I remember the name before. Um, it's called a Motel Life. Um, don't remember exactly what I saw in the trailer. I believe it's, uh, one of the characters, he ends up getting in trouble for, like, killing someone and then he's uh, pretty much on the run going to different hotels and motels and stuff like that Dakota Fanning gets in there and such and I'm like eh why not and for four bucks you know even if it's not what I thought it was can't complain this one I, I've seen before uh not really my style but the thing was two bucks so I'm like yeah why not just to add it to the collection uh the movie's called Jurassic Dead uh it's put out by um Wild Eye releasing. We had a few of the people uh, on the from the the movie on uh, the Dorkening, so I'm like, why not get it? Uh, this one I remember enjoying. I don't know exactly, um, you know, where this came. I'm guessing it's another Canadian release. It's called The Impossible. This is after a um, I don't know if it's an earthquake or a tsunami or something like that knocks out uh, a whole bunch of things in this one uh, place, and the family gets uh, separated and. You know, the impossible becomes possible where they all find each other at one point in time. Uh, but I remember watching this movie. I don't remember if it was Netflix or something like that, but I did enjoy it. So I finally picked it up because I couldn't find it on Blu-ray anywhere. And for, um, how much was this? Four ninety-five. I'm like, you know, I'll pick that up. Jerusalem, by the way, was six bucks. Uh, this one I had my eye on for the longest time. Uh, this is a... Canadian release because it does say it comes with uh, digital HD, but it was, you know, Canadian. Uh, but this is Ingrid Goes West. I remember seeing the trailer for it, really enjoying it. And I'm like, ah, oh, let me pick it up. Uh, this one, you know, it's a, uh, I had it on DVD. This is pretty much just an upgrade. It's a special edition. Uh, they'll dance for a, a fee, but devour you for free. Uh, it stars Robert England and Jenna Jameson in Zombie Strippers. Uh, like I said, I did own this on DVD at one point in time. Don't remember exactly where the DVD is, but I'm like, yeah, let me get this. And how much was this one? This one was four ninety five, so five bucks for that one. Uh, this one was the other one. Um, the other two movies, or the other two uh, that cost me uh, eight bucks, and that is Twelve Monkeys, uh, the seasons, uh, season uh, one and season two. Uh, so for eight bucks. Uh, I remember liking the movie, so uh, didn't know there was a, um, a or didn't remember, should I say, there was a uh, uh, series, but it was on sci-fi, so that's probably why. But 12 Monkeys Season 1, Season 2, uh, both were 8 bucks. Uh, let me see. Uh, this one just seemed interesting, and how much was this one? Um, 3 bucks. So I'm like, why not pick it up? Uh, Parasomnia looked like an interesting, probably uh, more sci-fi-ish, I'm guessing. Put out by Rising Storm Productions. It's a came out in 2009. Never heard of it before, but Parasomnia, pretty interesting. Three bucks. I'm like, why not pick it up? This is another one I just got for you know the cheapness of it. I saw the trailer, looked pretty interesting, and that's Mind Gamers. No idea. Just picked it up, kind of blind buy stuff like that. Uh, this one I got because not only was it very cheap, but it has uh, Trish Stratus in it, and it's called Bounty Hunters. Uh, don't know how many movies she starred in, but why not pick it up? Trish Stratus, you know, really, uh, you know, when I was watching wrestling, I used to be a huge wrestling fan. She was probably, you know, my, um, if I had to pick a diva, she probably was my number one diva, so I thought I'd pick it up. This one, never heard of before. It's got Jeff Daniels, Ryan Reynolds, Emma Stone, and Lisa Kudrow. Um, from the trailer, I got that, you know, Jeff Daniels has a imaginary friend who is Ryan Reynolds, who is like a superhero type thing. The movie's called Paper Man. Uh, seemed pretty interesting with a cast that like that. Jeff Daniels, like I said, 
Uh, Ryan Reynolds, Emma Stone, Lisa Kudrow. How could you go wrong? Uh, Paper Man was five bucks, so four ninety five. Thought I'd pick it up. This one, Open Grave. Well, I'll just let you guys know, three bucks. I'm like, why not? Interesting. You know, it came with a slip cover, so no idea what it's about, but might be like zombie type thing because uh if you look in the back that's what it kind of looks like so it could be have something to do with zombies uh this one i've kept on it they, they've had it on the website for a while and i've always added it and then taken it out and then added it and i'm like why not get it uh always look like it would be like a uh, screen factory release or something like that but it's not it's one village and image entertainment release and it's called inheritance uh, from the trailer, it looks like a uh, a, uh, a family is, um, I guess, one of the family members passed away, and they have a uh, big, like, a lot of land and a big house and stuff like that, so that all the family members come, and I don't know who gets what and stuff like that, but it seems like it, it goes from, you know, what should be a fun family trip to something that went terribly wrong. And this one is part of the Screen Factory collection. They got a whole bunch of Screen Factory, Factory stuff for very cheap. If I knew about this a long time ago, I would have saved myself a whole bunch of money because some of the titles are worth like on there like four or five bucks when usually when they do come out, it's like 20. So I would have saved a whole bunch of stuff. This one I never had. And uh, this one came to four ninety five, five bucks. So I'm like, yeah, why not? Let me add it to my Screen Factory collection, which I do have a uh, a bunch of movies coming from that. They had a sale uh, last week at some point in time, so I picked up a bunch of that. Uh, it's an IFC Midnight title, and that is called Backcountry. So, like I said, 22. I, I also, like I said, got the uh, uh, the Tribe, uh, Lost Boys, the Tribe. I thought I was getting the Thirst. I read it wrong. On the thing, I could have sworn, because usually I'm good with uh, getting, like, ordering stuff that I already did have. But, I guess that time I read it wrong, but the uh, Lost Boys, the Tribe. So, um, I do have a whole bunch of movies, so if you've watched it, this video this far, thank you. But, I got a little thing for you. I haven't done a live video in a long time. Um, if I get this video, because I've seen people do it, if I get this video, you know, to 100 views within a day, and I get, I don't know, 10 likes or something like that, and, yeah, something like that, 10 likes and 100 views and comments on the bottom saying I want to see a live video or a <coughs> live stream because those of you who join my live streams know that I'll give away movies and stuff like that. So if you want that, you know, like I said, try to get this by sharing it. Letting people know I'm out here and sharing a video and stuff like that. Maybe I'll up it. Maybe maybe 10 likes is a little too easy. Maybe call it 20 likes. Give me 20. I'm out not asking for 100 likes and all this stuff like all these other people. But give me 20 likes. Give me 100 views and say I want a live video. And maybe tomorrow I get out of work uh, you know, early enough. I'll rest and then I'll do a uh, live stream tomorrow. But... Those are the requirements. If you're watching it this far, you know, now you know. If not, if you didn't make it this far, then you suck. No, just kidding. But that is my Hamilton book unboxing, you know, what I did get. Uh, again, check out HamiltonBook.com for, you know, like I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I already did. The one time I got, like, 40 titles. The one time I got another 20. So I've gotten, like, 100 movies from them, and it hasn't cost me more than, you know, 300 bucks over the you know the time that i've gotten stuff so if you're looking for you know perfect things you know things to get uh to bulk up your collection hamilton book is the way to go uh also i'll, I'll leave the link for it in the uh description also all the other all my other social media like i'll leave in the uh description as well so hopefully you enjoyed this like i said if you want any of these movies reviewed further let me know and i'll definitely go ahead and do it for you and I guess until next time, I'll see you.